Hello everyone, welcome back to Secret Things. Today, we will share secret things about Jack in the Box. Like the toy, Jack in the Box and its history can also surprise you. They altered a significant aspect of the fast food industry and had a number of extraordinary occasions. Did you know that an upcoming actor was fired? Where they spent $500 million on a taco company? If those two details aroused your interest, keep watching to learn more obscure information about Jack in the Box. 1. The best hard shell taco may be found at Jack in the Box, according to reviews of the restaurant. According to an Austin, Texas-based monthly magazine, their tacos are comparable to Mexican foods like taquitos or tacos dorados. More than 500 million Jack in the Box tacos are sold each year, despite the fact that their tacos have been compared to eating into a moist envelope of cat food. On July 22, 2013, Selena Gomez celebrated her 21st birthday by chowing down on tacos from Jack in the Box. She also said that despite her efforts to cut back on her food intake, she still managed to devour four tacos, three egg rolls, onion rings, and a spicy chicken sandwich. 2. Jack in the Box was a rename of two restaurants. Recall how we claimed Peterson had opened eateries prior to Jack in the Box. There were, in fact, two. Topsy's Drive-In opened as the first one in 1941. Peterson then altered it to Oscars, his middle name. Oscars endured for a while before Peterson finally acquired the enduring brand name Jack in the Box due to the circus-themed interior design of his eatery. 3. On February 12, 1951, Jack in the Box was established. Robert O. Peterson, the creator of Jack in the Box, opened the company's first store in Rolando at 63rd Street and El Cajon Boulevard in San Diego, California, in the United States. Out of the 2,168 Jack in the Box locations in the U.S. as of October 31, 2022, this state has the most, with over 940 locations. Peterson has opened a number other eateries before settling on Jack in the Box. In order to have more time for his other responsibilities, such as remodeling hotels, he later sold the Jack in the Box in 1967. 4. In the 1980s, Monterey's Jack replaced the term Jack in the Box. In 1968, Foodmakers Roust and Purina purchased Jack in the Box, which led to further success. Sales increased when they turned away from catering to children and toured yuppies in the 1980s. They even created an advertisement that featured their iconic clown being blown up to demonstrate their transformation. However, they made the error of changing their name to Monterey's Jack in 1985. Here's a fascinating fact about rebranding. When it's unnecessary or carried out incorrectly, it can confuse consumers and have a negative impact on brand recognition. After a while, the Jack in the Box brand name reappeared, and of course, they produced an advertisement making fun of their costly error. 5. One of the founding companies of drive throughs is Jack in the Box. Additionally to quickly making and serving food, drive throughs are a key component of what makes a fast food business convenient. However, before drive throughs drive-ins were the method to simplify a customer's life. In essence, it involves allowing patrons to leave their vehicles at a restaurant while they wait for a car hop to deliver their ordered meal. In-N-Out Burger was another well-known fast food chain that added drive throughs to its restaurants, but they began three years before Jack in the Box. 6. Jack in the Box is known for having controversial ads. Bad publicity is still publicity, goes a proverb, and Jack in the Box is well aware of this. As a result, they frequently run contentious advertisements. Controversial marketing has a high risk, high reward ratio since it has the potential to either increase sales or damage brands. However, as you can see, Jack in the Box reaps the rewards. They have produced numerous contentious advertisements, one of which being a 2018 spot for their teriyaki bowls. Due of the sexual innuendo in the advertisement, there were concerns. They also had a commercial in 2009 that made fun of Burger King. Burger King's Have It Your Way slogan was made fun of for not serving breakfast all day, as Jack in the Box has been doing for more than 20 years. 7. In the 1990s, an E. coli outbreak was brought on by Jack in the Box. Accepting mistakes is one thing, 
but realizing you've unintentionally contaminated food and caused diseases is quite another. The Washington State Department of Health's inquiry is what led to the conclusion that Jack in the Box caused the outbreak. It turned out that E. coli O157 contamination in the beef patties from the fast food business caused food poisoning. The fact that youngsters are more at danger from this bacterial infection makes this sad tragedy even worse. Sadly, four youngsters lost their lives as a result of Jack in the Box's hamburgers. Naturally, the fast food company was found to be at fault, costing them over $140 million in legal fees and lost revenue. After this incident, Jack in the Box may appear to be out of luck. But fortunately, bringing back its mascot, Jack Box, reviving its brand, and regaining its clientele prevented the business from going out of business. 8. Jack in the Box produced a sizable coupon The size of a buttery from Jack in the Box Jack's Buy One. Get One Free coupon is 25 feet broad and 80 feet tall. That is comparable to being two male great white sharks width and four giraffes stacked on top of each other in height. Twelve individuals were required to carry the coupon due to its size. The enormous coupon was hanging up the side of a hotel in Hollywood after it was used at the Jack in the Box drive through This was accomplished because the coupon could also be redeemed by displaying a photo of the enormous coupon, enticing clients to share it on social media, and instructing them to use the hashtag world's largest coupon. 9. A young person who later rose to fame as a Star Wars actor was dismissed by Jack in the Box. I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. In the 1970s, Mark Hamill, who portrayed Luke Skywalker, worked at Jack in the Box. He was let go because of his clownish speech when working the drive through window. But the Star Wars character visited Jack in the Box again for a commercial in August 2022. It was to advertise the temporary return of two customer favorites from the menu, spicy chicken strips and French toast sticks. Can I get the French toast sticks? French toast sticks? Yummy! Please pull forward! You are Mark Hamill. I'm Amy. Well, you look like him! <laughs> I've seen literally all of your movies. I Additionally, Jack in the Box made the decision to create a free comic book based on Mark Hamill's account of his first and last days working there. 10. There are numerous hidden menu items there. The bacon-flavored milkshake known as Bacon Shake was one of their most recognizable secret menu items and a part of their 2012 Merry Bacon campaign. The fact that the Bacon Shake wasn't actually made with bacon is shocking. Instead, it mostly comprised of vanilla ice cream, whipped cream on top, a maraschino cherry, and syrup with a bacon flavor. And customers said the Bacon Shake actually tasted like bacon. Churro cheesecake, mint Oreo cookie drink, and bacon bacon cheeseburger are some of their noteworthy hidden menu offerings. Other fast food restaurants, besides Jack in the Box, also have secret menu items because it makes their customers feel more special. Additionally, it's a fantastic method of word of mouth advertising. Jack in the Box and other fast food restaurants demonstrate that convenience can draw customers despite their drawbacks. This fast food restaurant franchise also serves as a reminder to companies of the value of strategic marketing, even when it means deviating from the usual. Oh, and when you think you won't be able to recover from your failures, keep in mind that millions of people continue to eat at Jack in the Box despite the fact that they published very contentious advertising. Uh -huh.